guys. So today it's going to be a little haul video, a soft spoken uh, haul video because I went to Matalan today um, while I had some money left over because I needed to buy some new attire for the gym uh, and I'll explain that in a minute. So I went and got some stuff uh, that I'm going to be needing. Uh, I couldn't get everything. I'll have to wait till I get paid again for that. Uh, but I got a few nice things and some things that aren't to do with the gym. A couple of things, but that I'll need for summer. So, um, I have been planning to upload a lot sooner than today, but I have been dying for over a week since like a since not Friday there, but the Friday before. So that's like a week and a half I've been dying with um, some kind of a horrible viral infection thing. It wasn't COVID, because I've been testing myself all through it since the moment I started getting sick. It's not COVID. It was something that floored me a lot worse than COVID probably would have. And I'm still feeling the effects in my stomach. So... <laughs> There's, it's important to remember that there's still a lot of other shitty things out there that's going to get you even sicker than Covid might get some people. It gets some people sicker than others, I know that. But uh, there's a lot of nasty stuff out there as well, other than Covid. But anyway, enough of that. I'm back now. I'm almost better. I just got some problems with my stomach. So, with that being said, let's get into the Matalan haul video. Here's my big bag, and as you can see, <laughs> these paper bags, they're just like the paper straws, aren't they really? They just it simply won't do all this eco crap, it has to stop. <laughs> but, uh, so I'll start with, I'll just start with whatever's in there at random, and I think all my gym clothes have been at, put at the bottom of the bag, so I'm just going to pick out whatever's what and go with it. And I got these. These are not for the gym, obviously, but they're just like nice little summer leggings. Oh, I think I've showed trousers like this before in videos when I've picked them up. I like this sort of a jeggings. They look like jeans, but they're actually slim fit leggings. And what swayed it for me with these was this. And I'll let you see that properly. This beautiful, um, shiny, it's, it's sparkly, I don't know if you can see that, but it is sparkly. Pink leopard a stripe that runs down the side of both the legs. Now you can see it there, it's sparkling, yeah. So... I noticed in my last video as well, side rant, that um, you can hear a clock ticking quite vividly in the background and that's because the setup that I've got, I have my phone propped up against that um, pink wooden bus that I've showed you before and that kind of is propped up against the clock that sits on my little table where I do my videos. It was up there on the wall but I heard an almighty crash a couple of months ago and it was on one of those sticky plastic hooks that's meant to be very durable. Uh, clearly not, because it fell and it landed on this table and one of the polka dots on it, it's got 3D polka dots snapped off it. Or at least the clock still works. And I got a brand new picture that I had up on this side of the wall with the same hook holding it and uh, <laughs> that fell off as well and nearly damaged my brand new painting. So, which I need to feature in a video at some point because it's perfect, but it's well, safe to say that I only have a tiny little neon light 
hanging up on one of the hooks back there now. Nothing that weighs more than an ounce or two. Those hooks, they do not hold it. So, side run over. That's it. Yeah, so everything was knocked flying off this table when my clock fell and knocked into everything else. And Oh, God. I know a lot of people like the sound, love the sound of a ticking clock in ASMR. A lot of people not so keen on it, so, but. Right, so. Spent a wee bit longer on them than I planned because I was ranting, so. <laughs> on to the next one. Ooh. Yes. Now, these are just your little basic PVC pumps and I've always loved getting these from Matalan. I've had a good few pair over the years that look just like this. But they scluff easily and they wear and tear quite easily if you wear them a lot. So this is like a brand new pair. I haven't been able to find these in Matalan in my size for ages and it's been frustrating me because I've seen them there in every other size. But I finally found them in a size 4 today and I was like, you're coming with me. <laughs> so, obviously this isn't for the gym either. So. I think the lady that packed this must have had some sort of an incline I was going to do an ASMR video with the stuff because she's been like, yeah, 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 I'm going to put all the non-essential stuff at the top and <laughs> all your gym stuff at the bottom of the bag. So. I love these, like wearing them with like little denim looking things like those trousers or a little denim skirt or um, a little blue stripy top or red top or something, just a uh, little dolly shoes. Little dolly shoes, little dolly shoes, little dolly shoes, little dolly shoes. Little dolly shoes, little dolly shoes. Little dolly shoes, little dolly shoes, little dolly shoes, little dolly shoes. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. <laughs> okay. I won't put the new shoes on the table because I believe in that superstition. Don't put new shoes on a table. I have a lot of wacky beliefs, but that's for another video. Yeah. yeah, so here's another non-essential item there. And it's basically just a little... Shirt or shired? I don't know how it's pronounced in Scotland. We probably pronounce it different to everyone else because we do that with words for some reason here. But uh, it's a little shirt so obviously it's ribbed and it's stretchy so it's a slim fit it will cling to your figure when you put it on and I'm looking for more clothes like that so just a little basic summer dress with a little frill at the bottom and little frills on the arms oh, it's like a corally pink colour I think it would still go with those red shoes, but I've got a pair of white shoes I think it would stand out more with, so. Frilly frilly, frilly frilly, frilly frilly, frilly, frilly little dress. So that's that. That's my receipt. I got more stuff than planned. <laughs> ah, now we're getting into the gym stuff. So, first up I have these. NYC. Awesome. Like zebra stripe effect. But it's all black. Like tiger stripes. So these are the... Uh, 
or your typical sort of a lycra sort of a wetsuit material that you need for the gym, you know. Make this little bit here. You see there it says 12 to 13 years. Now, I was 12 to 13 years, many years ago, but because I'm only 4 foot 11 and I don't weigh much at all and I've lost a lot of weight even over the past week or two and not been able to eat because I was unwell, I have the buoyancy of a, the average 10 year old girl, 11 year old girl, so yeah. So I get stuff like this because it's much easier just to get the kids clothes because they just fit me better. And because I look young for my age, nobody knows the wiser. So, uh, they're cheaper as well, kids clothes, and they're more stylish usually like this. I mean, if you were to get a proper sports make in an adult size of these trousers, they would cost an arm and a leg, they'd cost the kind of money. I could barely afford to even get this stuff. You know, never mind top brands that's in an adult size when I don't need it. I've never understood why people fuss over big brands and money and labels, what costs most and if it looks nice and I like the colours and they have it in 12 to 13 years or 11 to 12 years, I'm gonna buy it. And if it's cheaper, it's even better, you know. And here's the top to match it. So this brand is called Solu Solux, Solu Solux. I don't know if it's meant to, if it's French or it'd be Solus, how you'd pronounce that, but this is Scotland, we just pronounce things however we feel, however we can physically say it. <laughs> so, but, yes, as you can see, it's lovely pink stripe there, neon, and the same sort of a tiger stripes in there. It's this pink colour that really struck me. I've always loved this kind of a deep pink colour with black. I just think those two colours are perfect together. So, you get your little typing dots. That's what they look like when somebody's typing something to you on Messenger or something. To be continued dots. <laughs> so. I like the noise this makes though. So that's one of my gym outfits. And well, I'll do this next. Uh, it is a cheap little ring that I found. It was only five pound and a half price and Look at the way it sparkles. It's it's lovely. I like sort of a pinky with little gold sparkles in it, sort of marbled look. In my size, so again, it's difficult to find adult jewellery that fits me because my fingers are tiny. So, but. I've always loved little cheap costume jewellery like this. Again, it's the same with the big brand clothes. It's like, why pay big brand for... I'm, I'm not shaming anybody. Some people love to be classy and have the big expensive brands and diamond jewellery. That's totally fine if that's what you want. But for me personally, like I said with the clothes, if it looks good and it fits me and it's cheap, that's an even better bonus, you know. So that's my little ring. Oh god, this is the coat hanger that's stuck through the bag, so I'm just gonna put that up there and out. Now, this is another one of my tops for the gym, and again, that black and that sort of a deep rose pink. This is sort of more neon pink though. I just love these colours together, and this shiny bit here is gorgeous. It's got a little crisscross strap at the back. And I love the effect on it, like a paint splatter effect. But I mean, this was one of the ones that came on its own. It didn't come with matching bottoms like the other one. 
So I had to improvise and look for a separate pair of bottoms that had nothing to do with this to try and sort of match them. So I'll show you them in a second. No. Then we'll go top. Ah, here they are. They smell funny. Yeah, some clothes that get that funny newnessy melted plastic kind of smell. Yeah. <laughs> and look. I love this. Iridescent. I love iridescent stuff. And so these are the little... Oh, what do you call these again? Little... Is it biker shorts they call them? As you can see, pink and the black. It's not the same shade of pink, I know, but I thought this little sparkly iridescent bit kind of matched the sparkly bit on this. So. I thought this was very tingly, though. I was playing with it in the shop. Well. Maybe it's because I'm poor that I have that kind of mentality with if the shoe fits kind of thing. Um, maybe if I was born rich, I would have a totally different mindset. I don't think so, to be honest with you, but, you know. Because I love older things and basic things like older cars and, you know, older everything, so... I like very basic things. It's not about what's modern, high tech, or expensive for me. Can't be doing with it. It's just about what triggers reactions and emotions in me personally. And uh, that's what I go with. Like, for instance, when I said the pink and the black struck me with those clothes, you know, I wasn't even thinking about what make they were or what the price was. I just thought it looks good and it's in my size. <laughs> that's the thing. The next thing I got, they're supposed to be two together as you can see, but uh, once fell off in the bag somewhere. Ah, here we go. So, oh, this is one of them complicated cross straps. I didn't notice that in the shop because they were on the hanger. Oh, I break my arms trying to get these type of tops on. It's like a little halter, I think it's meant to be a halter. So, ah, there we go. It goes like that, see? Ah. The problem with it, of course we see, because we're not as stupid like you. Ah. <laughs> You've got your little messenger dots again right there. So, it's all the same company. Solooks, or what was it called? Sooks or something? But, again, it's got the pink and black. It's just basic design though, there's nothing on the front, so I can mix and match that with the pink and black trousers off of the, uh, the first one I showed you. And this was intriguing to me, because I've always loved these sort of two colours together, like yellow and purple or yellow and lilac. Um, so, I really like this, and... Again, it's just the same as that one, crisscross, only it's, it's on the floor. It's just the same as this one. Oh. Uh. But yeah, I kind of liked how they had them displayed with the pink and the black and the lilac and the lemon, kind of. So. And again, there was, no ma there was no matching bottoms for these two. They were just on their own. Uh. I would prefer to have got matching bottoms and tops for every one of the outfits, but, you know, they only have what they have in terms of matching stuff, so. And this is a little non-essential thing again, or non-gym thing, but it's just a lovely little blue stripey top. And what I was saying earlier about how well the blue and the red contrast are kind of 
when you see those little sailor outfits or sailor dresses and you've got the blue and white stripes with the red. I always kind of love that look. Oh. I love blue, white and red together like the Union Jack flag. Oh. So these with this and the little denim shorts or something which I can't wear until I've sorted out my legs which is why I'm going to the gym. And I never got round to that story, did I? Basically, I'm on a fitness journey. The first one of my life because I've never been to a gym in my life. I've never needed to go to one because I've never been overweight in the slightest. So, I've always been scrawny, rather. Um, but, I thought, because I'm slim, and there isn't an ounce of fat on my body or so I thought. I was thinking, I don't need to go to the gym. And I was such a little snarky bugger about it that I used to... We used to have a McDonald's in the town centre, right next to the mall, where the gym now is. So they converted the very top floor of the mall and turned it into a giant gym. And that's the one that I'll be going to. And I used to go to the McDonald's when it was there. Come in with all my grub go up, sit underneath the gym on the public benches, eat my McDonald's while staring up at them, sneering, thinking, look at you, and I don't have to do anything, I can stuff my face with this and I'm going to stay slim forever. And I have, because I can't gain weight due to metabolism uh, thing that I got. So, but, because I wasn't exercising, because I can't gain weight, physically, outward on my body. Instead, the little fat cells that were um, in my body already as like reserve fats that every human has, but women have more fat in their areas like hips and that than men. It's just the DNA, genetic makeup of it. And it wasn't until a few years ago one day I looked in the mirror and I was like, what the hell is that on me? And it's the old uh, classic cellulite, isn't it? Or circulation problem, as I like to call it, because technically that plays a part in it. There isn't enough circulation, there isn't enough muscle where little pockets are fatter. So it creates, it pulls down on the top layer of skin and creates that dimply orange peel effect that cellulite gives you. Also known as skinny fat, which runs in my family. We're all thin, we can't gain weight, but we've got the cellulite and the skinny fat problem. It's like, oh, I've got nice figure, nice clothes, and yet I still can't bloody wear them because I look like... <laughs> I look like I've sat on a cheese grater. <laughs> it's not the worst I've seen it. I've got quite a bit of it on the side and back of my legs, especially the side. But that's the main thing I'm going to the gym for, to work out my whole body. So I want to gain muscle everywhere, but mainly to work on my legs. They need it more than anything. I need to get rid of the cellulite. You know, and I think it's karma as well. The irony that I'm now going to be going into that gym where I would, the very same gym I would sit underneath and mock them when I was stuffing my face with McDonald's all these years. <laughs> now, obviously, it's not happened overnight. It's been building up for a number of years to get to how it's got. So, you know, people say we can't see it, but I can see it. I know it's there. I can even feel it on my legs just now, so... For my own self-esteem, which is already near non-existent, I have to get rid of it. But that's the gym story. Uh, and I've got a fitness mat, and I've got a YouTube playlist that I adhere to every now and then, and I've got myself some weights as well. I might do a gym roleplay ASMR video at some point. So I've been trying to do it at home, but because there's only so much you can do, it's mainly like exercises, like moving your legs. I need to lift some serious weight and push with my legs to get as much muscle as I can to try and bevel out some of these dents. So that's what it is. <laughs> so yeah, first fitness journey and uh, you know, I'm actually really excited about doing it and improving my body and my, it will improve my mental state a lot more as well if I can get my self-esteem sorted. It's just a pity they didn't have exercise machines for beveling out dents in the middle of your your eyebrows, isn't it? But uh, I think I've got a couple things left, so.
yeah so we'll finish up with these uh, again little messenger dots and this is just one of them little really thin sort of a cami top things and that's just to kind of like if I get cold when I'm working out I probably won't but just to put something over like one of those little sports bra tops when I'm in the gym if I want to live the dream <laughs> that's exactly what I'm trying intending to do yeah so and the last thing I my table just moved did you all see that did you all feel that <laughs> my table just moved it has balancing issues it's not very strong it's kind of flimsy it's held together by a series of plastic legs of which some are broken i really don't want to lose any more spots off my clock yeah so i just accidentally cut my camera out when i was trying to sort this silly exposure so that will be post edit. So I'm gonna hurry up and finish because this table is more unstable than me. Oh. So yeah, obviously. Lovely sparkly letter K there. Because that's the uh, first letter in my name. Obviously, why else would why else would I buy a K if my name didn't begin with K? <laughs> but, uh, I love this, it's the way this bit twinkles here. That's like proper ASMR. Just try and get that a little bit clear for you. Mmm, sparkly key, 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 sparkly key. As soon as I'm saying sparkly key. I think I'm about to. Uh, that is um, that is the Matalan Hall, and the things that I didn't get that I needed were a gym bag and some gym cheap like canvasy gym trainers to wear when I'm there. So when I get paid again, I can get those, and then I think that's me got everything I'm gonna need. So <sighs> now it's the membership I have to sort out because I don't have a direct debit. I only have a savings account, so. I'm going to have to get all that sorted out with the gym before I can further process my application. But, uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed that. I just wanted to uh, do it while it's nice and quiet and stuff and uh, fresh off the board. So I will see you guys in the next video, seeing as I'm on the mend, slowly but surely. Uh, I've got a few ideas, so I won't bother saying, oh, I'm going to upload, try and upload there and there and there, because, you know, there's no point in trying to plan it because things have just been chopping and changing so unexpectedly recently. Uh, so I don't know what's <laughs> how I'm going to feel when I wake up from one day to another. So, but I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I'm now going to put this stuff away and fix my table and then fix myself so I'll see you in the next one don't know when don't know how don't know where well probably here again but uh, <laughs> uh, we shall see so see you in the next one